Well, those things that you see here in the back, well, these are not spiders. Uh, these are so-called trichomes, and trichomes are little microscopic hair that you can find on plants. These are kind of outgrowths um, of the leaves and of other plant surfaces. Hello and welcome again, Micropunter here. Well, today I'm gonna to talk about those uh, trichomes and uh, somewhere in the corner, left or right, I don't know, you should also have a little text describing the method that I used uh, to take uh, these images here. So for example, this one here is uh, taken in a regular conventional bright field microscopy. Well, I'm gonna talk a little bit about those uh, trichomes. Uh, you can find them occasionally in, even in water samples because some of the leaves might have shed those and they end up in, in in, the, in water, even in house dust, for example. And uh, there are many different shapes, but those here of this plant, uh, they have this nice, interesting star shape, uh, but they can, come, they can come in all kinds of different shapes and forms, and yeah, because they have, also, of course, also different functions uh, to, uh, to do in the plant. And uh, I'm gonna talk about a few of those functions now. Well, what are some of those functions? And one interesting thing is, is that because they are on the surface of a leaf, like a little bit like a, a fuzzy layer, uh, they can serve as a protection against insects. Uh, so certain insects that like to uh, suck the sap of a leaf, for example, they have a little problem here because uh, the leaf is covered in, in dense, more or less dense network of those, uh, those trichomes. So insect uh, protection is one thing, uh, but not only that, uh, you find those trichomes also in plants uh, that are living in uh, warmer areas. And uh, there, those uh, trichomes also protect the leaf a little bit uh, from excessive water loss. You have to understand that the, in the leaf on the bottom side there's a so-called the stoma, stomata, uh, these are little openings and if now there is a layer of those trichomes covering the leaf uh, then the water cannot escape as quickly and this kind of helps the leaf to preserve a little bit of the water. Um, or um, yet another uh, form of protection is uh, against for example sunlight uh, because uh, in some cases uh, there is so much heat uh, uh, from the sun and so much light from the sun that those trichomes they um, also give the plant a little bit of a shade. And uh, so you can see that there are a variety of different uh, purposes that they have and of course also a variety of different shapes uh, therefore. So, what now a little bit a couple of words uh, about those uh, images uh, that I'm showing you uh, right now here um, because they're fairly large um, I've uh, used mostly no, low magnification up to around a total magnification of uh, 400 times um, and uh, when you actually zoom in a little bit then you can also see that uh, sometimes those uh, branches uh, that are branching out they seem to be hollow um, and as a matter of fact many of those trichomes they do not contain any living cytoplasm of a cell they are outgrowths of of the surface layer of a cell, the so-called the epidermis, but they themselves often don't contain any living material. So uh, I wouldn't say that they're dead as such, but they're simply outgrowths, but they do not contain any living matter. And here uh, you can see how I'm collecting some of this fuzzy uh, material, the trichomes, uh, using my stereo microscope and small tiny tweezers. And uh, on the leaf you could see that there is indeed this uh, layer of fuzz uh, that uh, I actually then harvested. And then uh, I made a specimen slide and uh, observed it under my compound microscope. Yeah, so you can see that this uh, fuzzy layer kind of was also kind of uh, yeah not connected quite tightly to the leaf but could be rubbed off easily more or less easily now the question is now uh, what's the best way to observe those uh, trichomes well besides uh, the stereo microscope that I've uh, microscopy that I've showed you now it's best to observe them under a compound microscope and this one here is in so-called oblique illumination that's one of my favorite ones and um, here the light is striking the object from the side that's why it's casting the shadow and this gives it a slightly three-dimensional appearance um, so I've made separate videos uh, showing you how to do oblique illumination I personally prefer this method quite a bit um, and the thing is also that uh, by using different illumination techniques, the different parts of the structure are emphasized differently. So for example, here we can see much better the central part, which would otherwise be too dark to see, uh, for example, in, in bright field microscopy. So my 
suggestion is, is is try out different lighting techniques experiment around and and uh, different methods uh, work best best for different uh, specimens at this time i would also like to invite you over to the description below of course because the description is quite large contains many links to other projects i do have a second a microscopy channel as well um, and where i talk a lot about uh, microscopic techniques in the micros uh, microscopy hardware i would like to invite you over to that channel as well and of course also uh, to my amazon affiliate web shop where you can buy microscopes and accessories if you're interested in amateur microscopy but now back a little bit uh, to the trichomes um, what I've also done now is, is I've also uh, placed those trichomes in uh, some mounting medium in UPRO mounting medium to make a permanent slide um, so I have to now wait a little bit a couple of weeks until the medium has solidified and uh, especially dry samples like trichomes even house dust for example hair and fur are very suitable to make permanent slides that can last maybe even 100 years or longer uh, the reason being because uh, they are dry and therefore it is not necessary to dehydrate them and to remove the water and therefore when you make a permanent slide therefore they're actually keeping the shape and the appearance uh, quite well for a very long time I think that's also one of the reasons why I encourage you if you're interested in amateur microscopy uh, to especially also collect samples that are dry um, and try to make a permanent mount uh, this way because uh, it's uh, simply much easier than having to do a so-called dehydration series to remove the water because those trichomes as I mentioned already they don't contain any living material and therefore um, they are dry and uh, yeah can be conserved uh, quite quite well I would also like to thank my patrons uh, who are supporting this channel um, not only this channel but also the other projects that I have and of course also the GoFundMe supporters and if you're also interested in supporting my projects I would also like to invite you to have a look um, down in the description um, where I can give you a little bit more information of all of the projects uh, that I'm in, in, involved in okay i think that i'm going to call it quits again for today i wish you all the best uh, happy microbe hunting as always do subscribe to the channel if you liked it do leave your comments if you have any further uh, questions or suggestions i wish you all the best see you around next time bye bye